Good afternoon, my friends. Well, I hope I can shield the camera from the wind. This is the view from my boondogging spot. And yeah, it's pretty nice. And of course, at the beach. And as you could see, I'm cooking my dinner right now. It is a very nice spot. I'm gonna have these rusty potato rusties and uh, some vegetarian sausages it's this here eco life organic um, organic soy uh, sausages so uh, I believe that's going to be good I don't know if I have any Canadian subscribers but I believe I do yeah I like these maple syrup you know as a quick morning snack but yeah let me uh, finish my my dinner actually you see those yellow signs over there by the fence? On the other side of that fence is a military area. And of course there's no entrance into the military area. But uh, I hope they don't gonna practice tonight because uh, I prefer nice and quiet. morning my friends well I'm driving to work now and I just noticed this road I just uh, drove across a cow grid my cattle grid here before and uh, the cattle is actually roaming loose in this field so there's no fence so, uh, well, you see the one standing halfway on the road here. It's not often you see that in Denmark, that cattle is not fenced in, but I guess they are by the... There is a fence around the whole area, but then they can roam across the road as they want to. That's really, uh, that's unique for Denmark. Got one here. <laughs> oh, that's a little one. How cute. <laughs> anyway, as I say, I'm just on my way to work. Oh, one of them decided to cross the road. I had a great nice sleep out here. Nice and quiet. Well, I better put the camera away because this is going to be shaky. But uh, see you guys after work. Good afternoon, my friends. Well, I am ready to leave the place I worked up here in uh, North West Sealand, the very long, narrow peninsula. Um, I will let the camera run while driving so you can see the area um, and uh, it's really beautiful nature up here but um, yeah let's go this here on the right was the shop where I did the job and uh, it was just a small job, so uh, no big deal. It actually only took me an hour when I got there. It wasn't as, as big a thing as I expected. I 
And yeah, you see the street sign right in front of us, say 21, and they say 103 kilometers to Copenhagen. I am going to Copenhagen now because one of my friends texted me that he need my help. So, uh, well, let's go to Copenhagen and help a friend. Yeah, that's a specialty for uh, this area. You saw the red church, right? Very unique. And now far wide, we're gonna drive alongside the sea. vacation houses here on the on the right side and then you can see the the water on the right side Really beautiful here because we're up so high. a windmill here an old windmill actually functioning good morning my friends well it's Saturday morning and I just woke up and got dressed just uh, here as I said I went to help a friend with some things and some driving yesterday and uh, I am in Copenhagen and I was boondogging here in this parking lot uh, not too far away from where he lived. It's actually in the parking lot in front of a high school um, and uh, I just went down here last night after uh, hanging out and watching some movie at my friend's place and uh, well to be completely honest I went to sleep like this didn't put the window covers up or anything and uh, it was perfectly all right no one bothers me I will uh, show you this parking lot and you'll see that it's not actually very uh, <laughs> how to say I just put my shoes. It's uh, not very beautiful or anything like uh, most places I stay, but uh, well, it can't all be glamorous. <laughs> but uh, let's go outside and you'll see. Well, over here is some kind of shits. And. Uh, that was nice to sit. There we got the high school. And in this big, big parking lot. And the cool thing is, one time I was... One time I was parked here with the, with the Skoda and the Nest. The principal of the high school came out and talked to me and he asked if I plan to uh, spend the the night and I said yeah that was my intention and I said oh that's cool no problem as long as you're out of here before Monday morning so I actually got permission from the principal to uh, boondock here in this parking lot so that's pretty cool but anyway as you can see not that glamorous <laughs> 
but it's nice and quiet. It's no, as I say, no one bothers me. Even I didn't put the window covers or anything. I'm driving back to the campground and to the nest today. Um, I got some few things I need to fix back there, and uh, maybe I uh, want to see if I can install the the cabin heater in the box. I've been talking about that for a while now, but uh, I should get it done really now I got the box and also, uh, so I should do that. But uh, anyway, I think I'll end the video here. And uh, you guys take care and remember, life is good. Bye bye.